One of the things I hear more than anything from other people who reach out to me about their depression, their anxiety, their depersonalization, their addiction, whatever is going on in their life that ails them is that they have tried everything and nothing works. <sighs> no, you haven't. What's going on guys? My name is Noah and for all intents and purposes, I need you to understand something. I'm a depression survivor. I'm an anxiety and panic disorder survivor. Depersonalization dissociative disorder survivor. I am someone who has a very long history with mood problems. From addiction to suicidality, I've been locked up in psych wards before. I've done forms of shock therapy. I've been on countless antipsychotics and antidepressants and mood stabilizers. I know a thing or two about experiencing mental health trauma. So when I tell you that I truly do not believe that you've tried everything, I say that from the perspective of someone who has felt like they have tried everything. Hindsight being 2020, I can look back and be sure beyond a shadow of a doubt that that response, that feeling, that helplessness came from a space of pain. And I'm so grateful that, that my team, that my team of support did not buy into that hopeless and ineffective mindset. The reason I need you to believe me, I need you to believe me when I tell you that you have not tried everything is because it will empower you to take care of yourself and it will give you a chance to control what is within your control. There's like a victimhood that comes over me in the past that comes over us as people that struggle with addiction and mental health when we say we've tried everything. It's basically a cop out. It's basically our way of saying, so there's nothing to do but to die, to suffer, to be miserable, to be unkind to ourselves, to treat each other poorly, to treat others poorly, to abuse ourselves, to self-destruct. You're like turning over the keys to the only life that you have and it's dangerous. It's really, really dangerous. You are not a victim because you have mental health problems. I am not a victim. A victim is only someone who is forced to do something against their will. That's it. Usually children. I understand that there are for sure adult victims. So I'm not trying to minimize that. Trust me. But I'm mostly assuming that you and I right here, we're not victims. If you're an adult, you're not a victim. You may have been a victim before and it may not be your fault what happened to you when you were younger or the trauma you experienced but it 100% is your responsibility to parent yourself now and to take care of yourself now, to save yourself now. You can't depend on anyone but you to make that decision to fight every single day. So language like I've tried everything and nothing works it is, is, is victim-like language. It's like, see, now I don't have to try and I don't accept that for you. I'm glad someone didn't accept that for me because you need you badly. The fight is not over, I assure you. The thing about feeling that way, feeling like there's nothing you can do because you've tried everything, it, it is there, you don't know what everything even is. Like your access to what is possible for you is so limited in general. I think we as people, it's, we're so untapped to the power and potential of dot, 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 but we're extraordinarily bubbled off from the world when we're depressed and when we're anxious. I don't want you to think I'm criticizing you here. I want you to realize that I'm giving you back your power. You need to get up and fight today. You need to figure out what you can control today. You need to understand that there is endless possibility for you and your future. I, I cannot thank the people in my life who kept me alive enough because they saw past my pain, kept me focused, and I just kept chipping away and fighting until I finally surrendered completely. What I want you to do is completely surrender to your protocol, completely surrender to the advice you're being given, completely surrender to your therapists, to your team, to your mentors and your models, let go. Let go of trying to decide what's best for you. I said this in a previous video. Just surrender to what you're being told and do it with all your heart.
truly do it with all your heart. And if you try something with all your heart and it doesn't work, try the next thing and the next thing and the next thing and something will work. I promise something will work. Something I've been asked before is like, what do I think the number one thing was that helped me recover from my mental health problems? And I don't know. I don't know. I think it was a lot of things. And that's, that's the key is that you just keep bringing things that are good for you into your circle. You don't get to make definitive decisions on whether or not it's worth it. You just do it, but you do it with all your heart. So if, if you are someone who is looking for the perfect solution for your mental health, but you have terrible sleep habits, then you put all your heart and soul into having perfect sleep habits. No excuses. No excuses for yourself because your adult responsibility is not negotiable to you now because you haven't tried everything and you're not a victim. You need to be your own hero. I don't know if you got anything out of that, but I really wanted to share with you because the moment I realized that I hadn't tried everything, the moment I stopped lying to myself, I just got honest about the fact that I hadn't tried everything and the things I had tried, and this might be more important than anything, the things I had tried, I did not try with all my heart and soul. 100%. I didn't. See, to me, for example, if I learn from, from someone that if I can get regular sleep and have a healthy sleep schedule, can improve my symptoms by 30%, but I don't do half of the things suggested to help my sleep, I continue to struggle with like lethargy and fatigue and brain fog, but I did a couple of the things but they didn't work for me. And then I tell people, oh, I tried working on my sleep, nothing works. It's like, no, you didn't, I lied. I didn't even give that a chance. Give everything the honor and respect it deserves. Never underestimate the power of the basics. Take back control of your, your mental health. The fight's not over, I promise. You need you, I need me, and we all need each other. And sometimes needing each other is about calling bullshit. And if you think you've tried everything that this green earth has to offer everything for your issues that I'm calling bullshit get up look yourself in the mirror and say I'm gonna fight for you today and I'm gonna control what I can I'm gonna swallow my pride and I'm gonna keep fighting for you today don't give up do not give up ever 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 We'll see you guys in the next video. I love you if you're suffering with mental health problems and addiction. I promise I do. Because my guess is you're not very good at loving you on your own. People love you. People care. My heart runs, bleeds deeply for people with mental health problems because I'm one of you. I'm just, I'm just one of the many people. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Take back ownership. No longer a victim. Keep fighting. It's going to get better. And when it does... When it does, you won't care about all the suffering that you're going through. You can do this.